Let's go. All right, Aaron, here we go. Clean your little slip, slippy run. We just gonna cut down the back of his head and get through this, this part of it. Then I'm gonna go under the belly. Like so. Okay, I get past this pin here, just like if you were doing a crop or something. And then just, when you get back here, just push the knife all the way through and come all the way to the end of it. All right, and then turn it back around. And then we're gonna come back down that spine. I should've got more plastic. Keep making a mess. Make it good for you too. Mm. Oh, we can flip on me. <laughs> All right, got to turn around. <laughs> now, I'm going to straight these, move these scales out the way because they blow your knife. Just move these scales right here. Ooh. All right. And you take the fillet knife, you want to get back under that skin. The fillet knife, something really sharp. Just, just prick the skin. Uh, it's, he got a tough hide. You don't have to go all the way in him. Just, just keep that fillet knife, cause you want to stay close to that spine. All the way up the top of his head. Then come back with your bigger knife. You need to get back. Come back with your bigger knife and come on, go all the way in with your bigger knife. And then you see, you, you, you get down to that, you down to this bone here. This bone you wanna see, right in that middle bone. All right. Make sure we got this head part loose and then we're gonna come up through that center part of it and take it off. Watch them fins. We coming. Just cutting those bones and do all this ink trail. Boy. Those ribs can get kind of tough. Big fish, so big and all the tougher they got to get through them bone. All right, we should be there now. Take the rest of these entrails off. Just you kind know, of shave that stuff there off there. And as you know, you ain't leaving no. You got all the meat, ain't number bone. So you get that. And this is your fillet that I was telling you about. We're gonna get the other side off the same way here in just a minute. All right, and we're gonna flip him over. Flip him over, and we're gonna take all the skin off now. So, come right back on that back tail. Going, going back and forth with your knife. Keep the knife in a downward position. Take your time. Now, this fillet knife ain't gonna go all the way to the other side, so I'm gonna run my hand and guide it and come up one side, come up this back side, what I really want anyway. Okay. Come on back around the rest of the fish since I can get into them now. When I get my hand, I can hold it. And it cutting. 
I always change the knife because they will dull up a knife in a minute. So have your couple of knives because when your knife quit cutting it, just can dull it up. All right. And that's it. That's the fish. That's the part. That's the skin and all. Now, this is what you want. But now, what I don't do, I don't keep the real, I don't keep this part of it. I just keep this part of the fish. So what I'm going to do is, just like I was doing a crappie, I was telling you, like a crappie or something, just come right down that fillet right here, come back up to the top of it, and just let that knife come, drag the knife to the round, round the curve side. All right. Now, that's the part of the fish you want to eat. And we take this little, little, little fat off the back here, this little gristle part. I take that, cause that's mostly gristle right there. I take that off. All right. And right here where I got the fillet, I got red meat. I come right here and I come center that. And I take this part. I don't want that part of the tail. That's the part you want to keep. Cut that part. And then you want to cut your pieces just like this. This the part you gonna wash up and enjoy, brother. And you bowl it up. That's that fillet. Now, some people may want this. So plenty of good meat right here. So what I'm gonna do, I told Harry I was gonna do something different with this here. I'm gonna save this here. I wanna try this here, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean this here up. The, the real part of it. Cause there's nothing wrong with just real pork pig meat. If you want it, you just need to clean it up. Now, I'm gonna keep that part of it right there. But, and I, I don't want this up here. Got all that red meat in there and stuff, so I'm not gonna fool with that. And what I'm gonna do with that rib, show you how, how you're gonna eat this rib piece. And it's clean it up. In order to enjoy the rib piece, you're gonna just do it like you do the buffalo. You put some splices in it, just like this. And there you, there you go, cut it just like that on both sides. Well, I'm gonna put a little skin off of it. I got some little skin here left. Well, remember I told you I don't eat no skin. Cause that was on his belly. You may miss this with the fillet knife. Fillet knife cause that, that, I should have done this before I spliced it, but see how tough that skin is? You, you were standing here, you could hear how tough it is coming off. That ain't nothing but hides. And you don't want that. So take all the skin you can get off. And then come back with that filet knife and score some more. And that fry up like a nice crispy piece of fish. Just wash it up. That's it. Now, let's get this other side off this bad boy. And this baby be completed. As you can see. Oh. As you can see, number bones, number of rib bones, whole, half the fish is gone. And this ain't a fish that stink like some fish. He don't stink at all when you're cleaning it. You don't hardly even smell it. I'm gonna flip him over and do the same thing again. Get the other side off. All right. Down the hand. But that's a bottom feeder. They, they, they some strong fish too. They are strong. Look at that. Look at that fin on that thing. That, that man, that thing can get through some water. Look, look at all that. He can fly through some water. Okay. All right. Same process. Gonna move the scale. If you didn't see it the first time. Don't move your scales because that's what that fillet knife 
you gotta get through this tough skin. Even though these little scales, but it's tough, they, they will dull up a knife quick. So just give you some place to cut. All right. Now, I got a little bigger knife. I'm gonna kind of use it. Look at that thing. I don't know if we can get through some water. So again, just take this knife. Just score them down the back. Let's hide on this fish or something else. Like cutting in leather. My, 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 my. But this is where the best part of meat is right here. Stay on top of them fans, and you'll be just fine. It's a monster. Just don't cut yourself, because this knife is razor sharp. It don't care nothing about you. So don't snatch it out of it. Now just go through right here, right above that dorsal fan. You can get on the other side of it, through that hide. All right, I had to force the knife through there. And just bring it on out. All right. Right to the bone. Now we're going to come back up here. Drag the tip of that knife against that, that bone until you get the real bone. All right. I'll keep dragging. Dragging that sharp knife through there. Just keep it at an angle. All right. Now let's get this behind his head that we didn't do yet. Keep the fingers out the way. A little work, but hey, that'll work for what you want. You just come on around that, come on around that bottom of the oven right there. About that cut right there. Now you done cut that everything up to the head, flipping back around. Come back up there where that, where that back meat is. Keep your finger safe. I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna do this cause you don't lose no meat. There ain't no but a bone. I'm just gonna run the knife on top of that bone. Back to the tail. Yep. Until I get that same number of spine there. You are seeing when I show you the whole fish when I take it off. Now that you got all your meat separated, you want to come up, take the fillet off. Now to remove the fillet. Same process. Come back on the knee. Try to get through this summer gun. Let's see, we got a little something here to cut off here there. Got some belly in the way there. Oh God! Whew. Maybe I should have got a bigger knife. This is a drone. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't want to get stuck by no fence, so I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, see these, them there get you. Almost there. I want to hatch it. It's an old fish. Here we go. That's the crunch of it. There we go. Wow. And I just don't be wanting to lose no meat. That's why I try to get close to that end of that spine. Let's just twist this on off there. All right. That's that other filet. And as you can see, there's no meat. You can almost see through them. See there? I got all the meat off that junk. Nothing but a head. Oh, he's been done. He's been done. Now, I'm gonna fix up this filet. 
This, this is all your meat right here. It's just as heavy as the fish. Come back. Come back. Right underneath there. I'm just gonna cut the top of that. This, this here real bone, I don't really want it. Just keep cutting in an angle. Like I said, all you want is the back. Fish. Get this other little skin off. Oh boy, that's tough. Mm. I missed this with the fillet knife, but we're gonna get it with the pliers. Get that out the way. Now, let's finish. Getting this real bone out of here. That I didn't want on this side. I just want to show you you can keep that real bone if you want it. Just cut all that old red meat there off. You don't want it. That to the turtles. All right, there are your other fillet. And these little slags here from the fin, you're just gonna take that off. Take the knife, cut that off just like we did the last fish. You know, I don't take that part of the tail, it's just somewhere to get started. And I split this right here. Keep that part. I'm gonna cut it one more time. The smaller it is, the better it eats. Oh. Now, that other piece, small pieces, fry it up, and that's your drum. Just pretty white meat, just pretty white meat. I mean, just no red, just pretty white, white meat. Why would nobody want to eat that fish? Nice piece. And there you have it. One drum clean. That's my video, Avery, for cleaning the drum. Thank you for watching. Hang up.